So when I was at school, no one actually taught me gelosian multiplication. We all had to learn column multiplication, and that was easy enough, that was fine. Uh, it wasn't until I actually started teaching maths uh, that I came across gelosian multiplication. And since teaching that to some of my students, it's actually become my favorite way of doing multiplication. I really like it. Um, it's a bit confusing at first, looks a bit much, but actually, uh, when you do it, it's, I find it really, really easy. So I'm going to show you this method now. I'm going to show it to you twice. The first time I've drawn it out uh, with a ruler, so it's all nice and neat for you. Hopefully you can follow what's going on. The second time I haven't, so I can show you uh, what it looks like to construct this grid. It won't be as neat, uh, but at least you can see what's going on from the beginning. First question says, 329 multiplied by 45. What I've done is I've drawn out a grid with the 329 along the top, the 45 down the side. So it's like the grid method, except that we're not putting in 320 and 9 and 40 and 5. It's just the 3, 2, 9, the 4 and the 5. The difference you'll notice is that going through the boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, we have a diagonal line cutting through each of them. This separates the tens and the units, the ones in each of our answers. So the first thing we do then is we fill in the grid. Nine multiplied by four is 36. So we put three in the tens part and six in the one section, the units. Uh, nine multiplied by five is 45. So we're going to put four in and the five there. Two multiplied by four is eight. So there's no three times five is 15. Now that I have that, I'm going to follow these diagonal lines down and I'm going to do the addition here now in these diagonal strips. So I have five by itself. That's going to give me five. Uh, here I've got 6, add 4, add 0, that's 10, so I'm going to put a 0 there, I'm going to carry a 1 over there. Uh, 3, add 8 is 11, add the 1 is 12, add the 5 is 17, 18. So again, there's an 8 there, I'm going to carry the 1 over. Uh, 0, add 2 is 2, 2, add 1 is 3, add the 1 is 4, and then the 1 left over here. So therefore, 329 times 45 is 14,000. 805. Let me show you that again with the second question, but I'll draw the grid out for you freehand. Um, use a ruler yourself uh, so you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, 7,028 multiplied by 92. So I'm going to do 7,028 multiplied by 92. So I have my grid that I'm constructing the seven, the zero, the two and the eight, and then the nine and the two make the rows. And again, each of these are going to have a diagonal strip going through them. So that goes through there, that's gonna go through those two, that's gonna go through those two, that's gonna go through those two, that's gonna go through that one. And again, I'm gonna fill in this grid then uh, by doing the multiplications for the digits. Eight multiplied by nine is 72, seven, two. Eight times two is 16. 2 times 9 is 18, and 7 times 2 is 14, 1 in the tens, 4 in the units. So basically what this is doing is it's separating, instead of carrying over each time when you're doing all the columns, it's doing it for you by shifting everything across with the diagonal, that's why I like it so much. I'm going to follow this down, the diagonals, I've got 6 there, here I've got 2, 3, uh, 7, here I've got seven and eight, that's 15. Carry the one. The one and the four is five, add the one is six. Three and the one is a four, the six by itself. So therefore, 7,028 multiplied by 92 is 646,576. And there we have it, gelosia multiplication. Have a go at it, see what you think. I absolutely love it.